Hi guys and welcome to this video tutorial where we'll be looking at a question which looks at using algebra to find the value of a region inside a three-way Venn diagram which is a slight extension of a type of problem that you may have seen in one of our previous tutorials. So without further ado let's crack on with the question. In a class of 50 students, 23 students speak Spanish, 25 students speak French and 20 students speak Italian. Seven students speak both French and Spanish. Nine students speak both French and Italian. And 11 students speak both Spanish and Italian. Four students speak neither of these languages. How many students speak Spanish, French and Italian? Now, as there's a lot going on, a useful way to approach this question is to use Venn diagrams which is a nice visual way of illustrating the sets of events that are occurring in this question. Okay, so as we can see that there are three main events, i.e. speaking Spanish, French or Italian, we have three disks which represent these events. Now if we let S be equal to the set of students that speak Spanish, F be equal to the set of students that speak French and I, be equal to the set of students to speak Italian. This here is a universal set which represents all the elements inside the set. Now we're told that the class contains 50 students and therefore the universal set would contain 50 elements. We're told that 23 students speak Spanish and so we're just going to write 23 in brackets next to the S representing the number of students that speak Spanish inside this set. We're told that 25 students speak French, so we're just gonna write 25 in brackets next to the F, and 20 students speak Italian, okay? So there should be 20 students inside this set. Now we've been asked to find how many students speak Spanish, French, and Italian, which is the number of students represented in the intersection of this Venn diagram right here. Now, as we don't know it, we can let X be the number of students that speak Spanish, French, and Italian, okay? Now, our objective is to find this X by working our way outwards and completing this Venn diagram algebraically and using the fact that the sum of all elements in the set should be equal to the universal set, which is 50 in this case. Next, we're told that seven students speak both French and Spanish, which is represented by the shaded region here. Now to find out what's on the outer side of this set, all we need to do is use this fact that the total number of students in the shaded region should equal to seven. And therefore, this area would be equal to 7 minus x. 7 minus x plus x is equal to 7. We're then given that 9 students speak both French and Italian. And those 9 students are represented by this shaded region here. Okay. So in order to find the number of students which lie in this outer part of this set, well, the sum must be equal to 9. So therefore, the outer part would be 9 minus x. We're then told that 11 students speak both Spanish and Italian, which is represented by this shaded region here. So that means that the outer part in this case would be equal to 11 minus x. Okay, as 11 minus x plus x is equal to 11. Now we've almost painted the picture, we just need to now fill out the outer parts of this Venn diagram. Now let's start with this region, which is the number of students who only speak Spanish. So if we let A be the number of students that only speak Spanish, then we can form an equation based on the fact that the sum of all elements in this set is equal to 23. Okay, so that would mean that a plus 7 minus x plus 11 minus x plus x is equal to 23. 
So these are all the elements in the set added together, okay? So simplifying the left-hand side, we get that a plus 18 minus x is equal to 23, and therefore a is equal to 5 plus x. So as we now know the value of a, we can update the Venn diagram to 5 plus x. And we can apply the same method for the number of students that only speak French, which is represented by this shaded region. Okay, so if we let B be that number of students that only speak French, well then B plus 7 minus X plus 9 minus X plus X is equal to 25. Okay, which are all the elements in the set of students that speak French. Okay, and so the sum would be equal to 25. So simplifying the left hand side, we get that B plus 16 minus X is equal to 25 and therefore B is equal to 9 plus X. Okay, so now we found 9 plus X, let's just update our Venn diagram. The students that only speak Italian is represented by this shaded region. So if we let C be the number of students that only speak Italian, or well then C plus 11 minus X plus 9 minus X plus X would be equal to 20 which represents all the elements in this set, which should equal to the number of students that speak Italian. And so simplifying the left-hand side, we get C plus 20 minus X is equal to 20. And rearranging to make C the subject, we get that C is equal to X, okay? So let's just update our Venn diagram. And lastly, we're told that four students speak neither of these languages. So we just write four outside the set of students that speak one of these languages. So now we found a way to illustrate every region of this set algebraically. Well, we can use the fact that the sum of elements in the universal set should be equal to 50. And so therefore, adding all the elements in the set, 4 plus 5 plus x plus 9 plus x plus x plus 7 minus x plus 11 minus x plus 9 minus x plus x is equal to 50. And so cancelling out the x terms, we get that x plus 45 is equal to 50. And taking 45 away from both sides, we get that x is equal to 5 which gives us the value we were looking for, which is the number of students that speak Spanish, French, and Italian. I do hope that was useful for you. As always, keep up the good work and I will see you in the next tutorial. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.